And finally this week we saw A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's directed by Samuel Bear and is of course um, based on the characters created by Wes Craven. Um, this has a bit of a changing cast as far as Freddy Krueger goes. It's now played by Jack, Jackie O'Haley. Um, and this, uh, the story is that uh, all these children went to uh, preschool when they were all very young. None of them remember it. And something happened with the gardener there, and it caused the parents to take some vigilante justice. And now he is haunting their nightmares and killing them while they're asleep. And of course, as you know, if you die in your sleep, then you die for reals. Um, yeah, I mean, I th I think everybody is fairly familiar with the Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, mythos. Um, Freddy walks around with the knife-fingered glove and the fedora and the red and black striped sweater and kills people in interesting ways while they're sleeping. Um, I I thought that Jackie Haley. Uh, I think he, he portrayed Freddy Krueger a lot more menacing than Robert Englund did. He is much more sinister. I mean, he, he doesn't seem to be having a lot of fun. He is, you know, very down to business in the things that he does. Other than that, the, I mean, this, this movie is, you know, straight by the book uh, um, slasher film stuff, which I, I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of. So, I mean, it, it really didn't appeal to me all that much. Well, I mean, it's the same thing over and over again. I mean, you know, the hapless teenager gets brutally murdered by, you know, villain X. And the thing that bugs me most about, the, about these remakes is say something new. Tell me something yeah. new about, you know, Freddy, about Nancy, something. I mean, just if you're going to reboot the franchise, then go a different direction. Don't yeah. go exactly the same direction. Really, like you said, the only thing that they've changed is they made Freddy a bit more. And, you know, in the original Wes Craven one, he was still he was pretty menacing. Uh, he got sort of goofy as, as the movies yeah. went on. But, um, yeah, I, Haley is definitely, you know, they lower his voice to, a, you know, a real deep bass. And, and you don't really get a good look at him. And, and, he, and they did sort of amp up the sexual angle. Uh, yeah, which you know maybe that's not the direction where things should go back, <laughs> but I mean you know they they remake these horror movies and they th they're just doing it with better special effects. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a waste of time. Yeah, I mean if you have nothing new to say, just go back and watch the original one. I mean it's probably available to watch instantly somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, another thing that I have with you know th this one in particular, but a lot of these in this genre is that you you sit through the whole film, and then at the end, it seems like everything is for naught because you're going up against you know somebody who's you know practically invincible. Mm -hmm. And so I mean, you invest all this time and energy into these characters, and you know as, as you know kind of vanilla as they were. I mean, I, I did get invested in them a little bit. Um, Not me. <laughs> Kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> He was rooting for Freddy. Um, but I mean, you, you get to the point where you know, you're invested in them, you, you want to see them you know, survive, and not, no, not just survive, but win against uh, Freddy, but you know it's not really ever going to happen. So, I mean, it, it's a little bit of a, a letdown. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the whole movie is a, pretty much a giant waste of time, yeah. so skip it. Yeah, absolutely.